Now we change to another kind of exercise. Okay. Again, this is about connection, a logical connection. Okay. Here you have two sentences again. Peter cannot come to school today, and the reason is his car broke down. Okay. Now I hope you find this unconvincing. Yeah. Of course, it's unconvincing. What I want you to do is to make this convincing. Okay. Yeah? And I don't want you to change these two. I don't want you to change the reason. You know, I, I don't want you to change the reason that, well, I don't, want, I don't like his car broke down. I want to say that, well, because his grandmother was sick. So, no, don't use other reasons. I just want you to stick to this reason, his car broke down, as the fundamental reason. But I want you to add something to make it convincing. Do you understand? Do you, do you, do you understand the request? Yeah? So, of course, this is not convincing. Yeah? Uh, So, again, I will give you five minutes to think about what is or are needed in order to make the connection between the two convincing. I, I, I give you at least the first one. So, so, like this, his car broke down as the reason or as the evidence to support this claim. Peter cannot come to school today is not convincing. The reason is... There's no direct connection. There's no direct relation. Okay? Just like Peter has a house in Nagoya and Peter is in Nagoya, this is the same thing. There's no direct relation. But what I want you to do to do is to make this, to introduce a direct relation. Add something to make it connected. Okay? So think what is needed in between. From, from this example, you can think about, uh, in the context of your research, suppose your research claim is that Peter cannot come to school today. That is your hypothesis. That is your research claim. And then now the evidence you have collected is that his car broke down. So this is the kind of proof that uh, why he cannot come to school today. So this is what you have provided. And then you present this idea uh, at a conference, and then people challenge you. Oh, come on, these two are not connected, yeah? And there are other possibilities. So what, I'm, what I want to train you is to think about this, you know, from the perspective of this counter-argument, yeah? Like this one, I already gave you the example that why it is not convincing is because Peter could have come to school by train, right? Or on foot. Why do you have to use his car? That's why it is not convincing. So all you need to do is to find the evidence, for example, to counter the counter-argument. Well, he cannot come to school by train because there's no train service linking to where he lived. <laughs> okay? So this is, this is the evidence that, I mean, of course, it is imaginary, yeah? And now we are doing this imagination. So imagine this kind of evidence are present that there's no train service uh, linking to his, uh, where he lives to school. And he's too far away for him to come to school on foot in time. Yeah? Yeah. So that would kind of block, block this possibility, yes? That would, you would defend the original claim that his car broke down against this possible counterattack that he could have come to school by train. So this is, this is one thing that I already gave you, but it's not enough, I tell you. Okay? So try to think a little bit more. As I said before, the reason that the two are not connected yeah, is because there are other possibilities that are blocking the connection. One possibility is, for example, like other kinds of transportations. Other kinds of transportations, transportations other than the car, yeah? So if this is true, now think about the counter argument now, yeah? Counter statement. So, so put your mind in that. Think about the counter argument. If it is true that there are other kinds of transportations he could have used, Peter could have used, 
then the original claim that his car broke down is rendered false yeah or un totally unconvincing this is not a good reason at all it's not even a reason because he could have used train or bus yeah so what you need to do first of all like you can say in whatever way you 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 uh, you like like needs to come to school by car you can you can say that there's no other transportation so needs so or must must come to school by car okay because this is only in one sentence I, I, I don't have time to elaborate this but the meaning behind it is that there's no other way for him to come to school you know huh? yeah he would have to come to school by car so you would have to present the evidence why he has to come to school by car for example there's no train Oh, sorry, yeah, there's no train, no bus. So, so this is the first kind of possibility. The first kind of possibility is that he could have used other kinds of transportation other than car, right? He could have come by foot, on foot, by bicycle, by taxi, by bus, by train. You need to eliminate these possibilities. Do you understand? You need to eliminate these possibilities. Again, like the crime investigation, the first task they do is elimination. They eliminate those, uh, you know, not really relevant targets yeah, to come closer and closer to the, to the truth. So the first type of possibilities to eliminate is other kind of transportation. However, even though he has to, he can only come to school by car, Okay, now we have established that, okay, that's evidence showing that there's no other way except by car. Do you find this convincing already? Not really, right? Why? Because there's still other possibilities, isn't it? What? What? Yes, good. So, look, yes, he has to come to school by car. It doesn't mean that his car so you need to connect his car okay look the original original claim is that his car broke down but he could have used his neighbor's car his friend's car his grandmother's car yeah so you need to eliminate these kind of possibilities too no other car is available so you, again, this is just a short form, you know, just, uh, just, this, this is really to guide you to think in a particular way. You have to find the evidence to eliminate this possibility too, like no other car is possible. Yeah, his, uh, his uh, friend's car, his uh, neighbor's car is not available during that time, yeah? whatever way you elaborate. What about now? Do you find it convincing now? Enough? It's getting better and better, isn't it? Yeah? But still not completely, right? <laughs> now, again, you, have, you need to think about the possibility. Yeah? Think about the possibility of falsehood. That's important. That's the, really the, the, the purpose of this training. Okay? It is still possible. No, I mean... I mean... Uh, already assuming there's no other car available so already eliminate that you know taxi or or whatever you can't no no other car available focus on his own car, he can, he can car. right i mean that's what you wrote here you know i mean that actually your idea was there closed there's still a possibility that he could have repaired or bought a new car Right? I mean, but new car is already ruled out because no other car is available. But at least he could have repaired his car. So that is that possibility, right? So you need to eliminate that too. Do you understand? I mean, this is a very new way of thinking maybe, but this is really important for your research. Okay, you need to be able to counter the counter attack. And impossible to get a new car actually is redundant. 
because no other car is available. So, uh, but anyway, I put it there just just in case. So, only with all this, you know, if you collect all this, if you could collect all this evidence, you can collect the evidence. No other car is available, and there's you know uh, there's no other kind of no other kinds of transportation is available, and car cannot be repaired. If you collect all this evidence, then your original claim that Peter's car broke down becomes convincing. This is called the premise of defense. It's different from the other type of premise. It's called a proof. You just find the evidence to prove that your claim is true. But as I said, no evidence can prove your claim 100%. There will be always possibilities for it to be false. So you need this kind of technique as well. You need this kind of premise. 